Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoy today's stories. All the stories will be time marked down below. The first one I want to talk about very quickly, thank you to Wicked Player who gave us this tweet on screen, as well as further screenshots. He actually told us now, as of today, with the latest update, CSGO in China is now completely free. All you do is prove your verification, prove your identity, and most likely if you're a Chinese citizen, you can now acquire CSGO for absolutely no money. And I cannot explain how genius this actually is. The Chinese player base was already growing steadily, more teams coming into that, but now with this guy's alongside the Chinese Pro League, this is going to be a skyrocketing event for the population of the Chinese CSGO scene. CSGO is now completely free in China, and they even give you prime status with that as well. So that's absolutely amazing. What a great update for the Chinese scene. And they're doing some crazy things over there with Perfect World. 128 tick servers, you know, the new Source 2 engine coming soon. Along with that now, free Chinese CSGO. They are doing it right over there. Now on top of that, we now had a couple days ago the cheapest Dragon Lore ever sold on the Steam market, allegedly for four cents. People wondering how the heck is this even possible? With all the buy orders out there, I'm sure many of you guys are aware of all the Dragon Lords on the Steam market right now have buy orders anywhere from the top dollar all the way down to one cent and probably thousands in between. But this one allegedly sold for just four cents. To give you guys a quick explanation, here's probably how it went down. Now, I could be wrong. There are probably a couple ways it could have happened, but most likely the highest buy order did get the Dragon Lore, but it was for the seller's price. So there might have been either a mistake or maybe even a, just a rich troll on the side of the person who sold the Dragon Lore. Either maybe a rich, a rich prince out there wanted to sell it for four cents or a huge mistake but the highest buy order probably got that dragon lore but he got it for the seller's listed price so let's say the dragon lore was listed for a thousand dollars the buy order who was actually closest to a thousand dollars probably got the dragon lore but they got it for four cents because the seller sold it for that and this will be now be the third time I've actually talked about this it seems like phase Olaf Meister is pretty much guaranteed so for all of you non-believers out there it seems he will be replacing Kiyoshima and here's more proof that Don himself of course alongside that HLTV also posted the article as well so that pretty much nearly confirms it, but the Don Hossi himself also confirmed it as he joined their private practice servers, FaZe Clan's private servers just yesterday with screenshots on screen for all of you. A hilarious thing. What a great guy. I'll link his Twitter down below for all of you. A great reporter. But the thing is, it's incredibly rude, not on his part, but of Smuya. Epsilon Smuya, according to FaZe Nico, actually leaked the server IP for the Don to go and join. And if you guys actually saw the screenshot, every single FaZe member was there besides Kiyoshima and in his place with Olaf Meister. Now again, we have people saying, oh yeah, He's just practicing with the team to make him feel better, to make them all better and stuff. It's not true. He's most likely going to actually phase Clan to join up with them, but it's incredibly rude on Smuya's part as a pro player. If I was Epsilon organization, let me know what you guys think about this. First off, let me say this. Smuya, a great UK player. A lot of UK viewers watch this channel. I think it's hilarious that the Don actually joined the server and was saying things in the chat. I think it's very funny, but it's also highly unprofessional on the, on the fact that a pro player for Epsilon actually leaked the IP, and there's probably proof out there somewhere. So if I was Epsilon, I might punish the guy. But yeah, that was another news, guys. Face Olaf Meister is pretty much 100 percent guaranteed. On top of that though, we have the pistol nerf continues. Last week we saw a Tech 9 be nerfed, you know, especially when you're trying to move and spray. This time it's actually a similar thing to the 5.7. Hopefully next week the P250, other pistols are going to be involved as well. Pretty much on screen for all of you that sums it up. Pretty much what you can do is you, when you're standing still, you have increased accuracy when you're spraying and praying, but when you're moving, it's highly reduced. So it makes a lot of sense. No more running and spraying and praying or moving and trying to, you know, shuffle down opponents by just rapidly firing off a bunch of bullets all at once. So it kind of reduces the craziness there. But apparently, in other CSGO news, we have this leaked by the Valve Network as well. I'll link his Twitter as well. There are so many Twitters down below. I do apologize, guys. Another great channel out there for Twitter as well as YouTube. He's also told us somewhere in the Steam database there is that code on screen. Smoke grenade, any color. So what this means, we saw a couple weeks ago on this channel as well as on McSkillet's channel, the potential coming of key change to CSGO, and we have seen potentially if these things come into CSGO, how much money Valve really wants to make. We've seen countless cases in the span of one operation that took almost a year to make. We saw probably four to five cases, including gloves and of course graffiti sprays on top of that as well. But now it seems either keychains and even this, colored smokes in CSGO. And I tell you this, when I first think about it, I think that would look so unprofessional for the professional scene. If you go onto any stream or if you go to a live event and you see colored smokes on the screen, I personally think that could make, I mean, it would be a huge meta change though. You could definitely make those colored smokes change some kind of scenery behind every single map. But what do you guys think about this? I really wanna know. I can't reply to every single comment, but do you guys want either keychains or colored smokes? And tell me why, because personally in my own mind, guys, 
I do not want colored smokes and I don't want keychains. I think they're both they're pointless updates. Let's be honest. They are probably most likely pointless updates. You know, especially the keychains. There's not going to be any actual physical benefit for the players. The smokes maybe with the color the color generations with that whatever map background there is that might be a slight benefit or meta change. But besides that, it's clearly a money move by Valve if this is true. So as always, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSGO News. I have a very special episode next episode where I'm going to reply to this video on screen by McSkillet. I had some inside information a long time ago, uh, about a week ago actually, so not too long, about some stuff going on behind the scenes with gambling, betting, trading sites, all these bans going through. So uh, just going to update you guys on that and uh, give you guys some inside information. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed. It is currently 6 a.m. in the morning. You guys should be seeing this in a couple hours. I hope you guys all enjoy. Live, love, laugh a lot. Thank you all for the great stream support. You guys know who you are and uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. That was the outro. Thank you.